I should like to start by welcoming the two Under Secretaries General, uh, Alain Lacroix and Susanna Malcora. Their recent non paper on peacekeeping, a new partnership agenda, they spoke about the need to set a new horizon for UN peacekeeping, one that will help meet the challenges of today and tomorrow. I hope today's debate will make some contribution to achieving that objective. I'm also very pleased to, that we have with us today General Martin Aguay, the force commander of UNAMID, to provide a perspective from the field. Effective delivery on the ground has to be the center of our efforts to review peacekeeping, both in the Security Council, in the Special Committee on Peacekeeping Operations, in the General Assembly, and elsewhere in the UN system. I thank General Aguay for his attendance today. I also welcome his colleagues, the commanding officers of UN peacekeeping operations who between them represent and command around 100,000 UN peacekeepers around the world. I pay tribute to them and to the men and women they serve with, military, police and civilians, and thank them all for their contribution to peace and security around the world. United Nations peacekeeping is a unique global partnership. Our peacekeepers help fragile nations emerge from conflict to find new stability. They are a scarce asset, demand for which continues to grow. And the UN system has a responsibility to ensure that UN peacekeepers are deployed to maximum effect in the places where they are needed most. The initiative that the United Kingdom and France launched in January sought to ensure that the Security Council could play its part to best effect. In the early stages of our work, we have focused on the strategic oversight of peacekeeping operations, seeking to ensure that mandates are credible, achievable, and measurable. And we have sought ways to improve information sharing and consultation with the countries that contribute troops and police. At the same time, the increasing scale and complexity of peacekeeping has stimulated a dialogue among member states and the UN Secretariat, a dialogue which has already produced important proposals from the Department of Peacekeeping Operations and the Department of Field Support, which warrant our further reflection. And the work has generated important progress on which we now need to build, working within the UN Security Council and beyond in close cooperation with the wider UN system. And our objective today is to hear the views of colleagues from across the UN membership, to record and review progress to date, and to identify common elements of a way forward.